Here are 10 unlikely Bible heroes that God used in unconventional ways. King Josiah All hail the eight-year-old king? That's right, King Josiah began his reign over ancient Judah at the ripe old age of eight. By the age of 16 he began to seek the Lord, and at 20 he began to institute historic reforms among his idolatrous subjects. He reintroduced the Book of the Law and led his people away from pagan worship, child sacrifice and temple prostitution and back to worshipping and obeying the one true God. Rahab the harlot Prostitutes were considered sinful and punishable by as much as death in the Old Testament. But it mattered little to God when he used Rahab, the Canaanite sex worker of Jericho, to help Israel secure a historic military victory. Rahab hid the Israelite spies as they staked out the city during the conquest of the Promised Land. Jericho was overthrown in a crucial victory, and God rewarded her by sparing her family and making her an ancestor of Jesus. Jail God used one of the unlikeliest of all people in jail, a non-Israelite woman of no reputation, to eliminate Sisera, the commander of the ruthless Canaanite army. When Sisera fled after witnessing the defeat of his forces, Jael lured him into taking refuge in her tent, and then drove a tent peg through his head while he slept. By taking out the enemy's commander, she gave him no opportunity to return and regroup, thus helping free Israel from the oppression of the Canaanites. John the Baptist Of what use could a guy living in the wilderness, dressed in camel's hair and surviving on grasshoppers and honey, be? Well, John the Baptist was that guy. In spite of his humble lifestyle, he was one of the mightiest prophets of all, preparing the way for Jesus by proclaiming his arrival, preaching repentance, and baptizing converts in the Jordan River, including Jesus himself. Mary Magdalene Nobody would have expected Mary Magdalene to amount to much. She was possessed by seven devils and is suspected of having been a prostitute. Nevertheless, Jesus exercised the demons from her and she became one of his most dedicated followers, closely following and assisting him throughout his ministry, witnessing his crucifixion, being the first to meet the resurrected Saviour and reporting the good news to the disciples. Naaman's Child Servant what could an insignificant preteen captive slave girl accomplish in a foreign country serving the enemy's chief commander, Naaman? Plenty. When Naaman was stricken with leprosy, she urged him to visit the prophet Elisha in Israel. He did visit Elisha and was miraculously healed, resulting in his conversion to the God of Israel. The Widow of Zarephath the widow of Zarephath was a poor, non-Israelite mother so destitute that she and her young son were on the verge of starving to death during a famine. Despite her own dire needs, she used her last bit of flour and oil to feed the hungry prophet Elijah. God blessed her sacrificial generosity by miraculously providing for all of them throughout the famine. And Elijah went on to accomplish his prophetic ministry. Ruth. Ruth was a Moabite widow, a vulnerable immigrant in Israel of little means. God blessed her loyalty to her mother-in-law Naomi and her conversion to the worship of the one true God by arranging her marriage to the wealthy Boaz. She went on to become the great-grandmother of King David and an ancestor of Jesus. Esther. Esther was a Jewish orphan living in exile among the Persians. Adopted by her cousin Mordecai, she grew in beauty and wisdom to the extent that she was chosen by the Persian king to be his queen. Upon discovering a plot by the wicked Haman to eliminate her people, she risked her life by approaching the king uninvited and exposing Haman before the ruler. Her people were saved and Haman 
was executed. Hosea, how would a modern day pastor of an unfaithful church react to the following visitors? Hello pastor, we're Hosea and Gomer. I'm a prophet and my wife's a prostitute and I've come with a message from God. You can imagine. Well, Israel didn't like it either. God did in fact command the prophet Hosea to marry the harlot Gomer to demonstrate Israel's unfaithfulness to him. Despite the unconventional approach, Hosea obeyed and played an important role in conveying God's prophetic warnings to Israel. What a band of unlikely heroes. Women, children, prostitutes, foreigners, immigrants, widows, an orphan, and more. You might not feel that you're qualified to do anything for God. Maybe you lack speaking ability, charisma, experience, or some other talent. But God is not limited by any of that. He specializes in using nobodies that simply love Him and make themselves available. As 1 Corinthians 1, 26-28 says, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised, hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time. Bye.